Hello everybody, I am Mika Seppälä. The topic of this video is the partial fraction decomposition of a rational function. This is a powerful trick that is needed when integrating rational functions. A partial fraction decomposition is a rewriting of a rational expression to a simpler form using a factorization of the denominator. For example, it is easy to see that 2 divided by 1 minus x squared equals 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x. Here, the denominator 1 minus x squared factorizes as 1 minus x times 1 plus x, and from that this decomposition follows. Now, if one has to integrate the function 2 divided by 1 minus x squared, it is convenient to use this partial fraction decomposition and the integration of 2 divided by 1 minus x squared becomes the integration of 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x. And this integral is easy to compute. We get that the integral is negative natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 minus x plus natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus x plus the constant of integration. Here, the first logarithmic term has a negative sign because in the factor 1 divided by 1 minus x, x has a negative sign and that yields a negative sign in front of the first logarithmic term. These two logarithmic terms can be combined and we get as an integral logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x plus the constant of integration. The decomposition of the rational function 2 divided by 1 minus x squared as the sum of 1 divided by 1 minus x and 1 divided by 1 plus x is an example of a partial fraction decomposition. Here the two terms correspond to the two factors of the denominator 1 minus x squared. A polynomial qx of degree n is of the form a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus and so forth plus a n times x to the power n. If this is to be of degree n, then the coefficient a n must be non-zero. Any such polynomial has factors which are either linear or quadratic, that is, they are of the form c times x plus d for some numbers c and d, or of the form e times x squared plus f times x plus g for some other numbers e, f, and g. For example, the polynomial 1 minus x to the fourth is of degree 4. It factorizes immediately as 1 minus x squared times 1 plus x squared. This follows from a well-known formula. Now, 1 minus x squared factorizes further. It is 1 minus x times 1 plus x. Therefore, the complete factorization of 1 minus x to the fourth is 1 minus x times 1 plus x times 1 plus x squared. So this factorization has two linear terms and one quadratic term. Consider now the rational function 3 plus x squared divided by 1 minus x to the fourth. We have already observed that the denominator factorizes as 1 minus x times 1 plus x times 1 plus x squared. So we write that in place of the denominator and we observe that from each factor of the denominator we get a term in the partial fraction decomposition. The partial fraction decomposition is going to be for this function of the form some number a divided by 1 minus x plus some other number b divided by 1 plus x plus the linear term c times x plus d divided by 1 plus x squared. And now in order to find the coefficients a, b, c and d, we use the fact that the above equation must be valid for all values of x. So we have to find a, b, c, and d so that 
3 plus x squared divided by 1 minus x to the fourth equals a divided by 1 minus x plus b divided by 1 plus x plus c times x plus d and that sum divided by 1 plus x squared. And this has to be valid for all values of x. In order to find the numbers a, b, c and d, we combine the right hand side of this equation. We get a fractional expression whose numerator is a times 1 plus x times 1 plus x squared plus b times 1 minus x times 1 plus x squared plus c times x plus d multiplied by 1 minus x times 1 plus x but 1 minus x times 1 plus x is 1 minus x squared and this whole sum has to be divided by 1 minus x to the fourth. Now we can expand the products in the numerator and collect like terms. We get that uh, 3 plus x squared divided by 1 minus x to the fourth must be a minus b minus c times the numerator on the left is a polynomial of degree 2. It does not have a cubic term. The coefficient of the cubic term of the numerator on the right was a minus b minus c. Therefore, a minus b minus c must be 0. The polynomial on the left had a quadratic term with coefficient 1. Therefore, we conclude that a plus b minus d must be 1. The polynomial on the left, again, the numerator, did not have term involving x. Therefore, a minus b plus c must be 0. The constant term of the polynomial on the left was 3, and we conclude, therefore, that a plus b plus d must be 0. So our task is now to solve a, b, c, and d out of these four equations. We have four unknowns and four equations. These are simple to solve. Namely, if we take the equation number 3 and subtract the equation number 1, then a minus b disappears. And we get 2 times c equals 0, which means that c must be 0. Next, we take the equation number 4 and subtract of that the equation number 2. When we do that, a plus b disappears, and we get 2 times d equals 2. Therefore, we conclude that d equals 1. Finally, we take equations 1 and 2. Here we have already substituted the computed values for c and d. We get a minus b plus a plus b minus 1 equals 1. And this means that 2 times a equals 2, therefore a equals 1. And if a equals 1, then the equation a minus b equals 0 also implies that b equals 1. Therefore, we have found the decomposition 3 plus x squared divided by 1 minus x to the fourth equals 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. This is the pastel fraction decomposition for this particular rational function. Assume now that the task was to integrate 3 plus x squared and that divided by 1 minus x to the fourth. We use then this pastel fraction decomposition and conclude that this integral is the same as the integral of the sum 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. And each one of these three terms is easy to integrate using tables of integrals. We get that the integral of 3 plus x squared divided by 1 minus x to the fourth equals negative natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 minus x plus natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus x plus arctangent of x plus constant of integration. And the two logarithmic terms can be combined. We get that this integral equals natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x plus arctangent of x plus constant of integration c. In conclusion, 
we observe that partial fraction decomposition is needed to integrate rational functions whose denominator has a higher degree than the numerator. If the denominator does not have a higher degree than the numerator, then we first perform long polynomial division. And now each factor of the denominator yields a term in the partial fraction decomposition. Linear factors correspond to terms whose numerator is a constant. And um, quadratic factors correspond to terms whose numerator is of degree 1, that is a linear polynomial. And a factor of degree n corresponds to a term whose numerator is of degree n minus 1. This is quite generally always so. So, for example, 3 plus x squared divided by 1 minus x to the fourth equals 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. In this case, the quadratic term 1 plus x squared corresponded to a term of the partial fraction decomposition where the numerator is of degree 0, that is a constant. It could also have been a degree one polynomial that is of the form a times x plus b for some numbers a and b.